Just back to the Hong Kong dollar and the peg. If indeed there is a very swift a depreciation at some point of the Hong Kong dollar and there is a domino effect, how are you positioned? I know you have positions in Southeast Asian currencies. Can you tell us a little bit more about, about the positioning? Yeah, I think, look, from our perspective, um, we're, we're very long dollars, U.S. dollars, and uh, and that means we're, we're, as you know, we're short Southeast Asian currencies, uh, and we are focused on we are focused on Hong Kong. And again, you have to think about the complexion of the global the global financial markets and Hong Kong as a financial center. Um, and today, Hong Kong has a rule of law. If global investors believe that that rule of law is going to be infringed upon by an authoritarian communist government, that may change the nature of financial centers in Southeast Asia, and it may move business, a lot of business, from Hong Kong to maybe, to maybe, maybe Singapore. So, uh, you know, there, there are certain currencies that will suffer, and there are certain currencies that will do better. Well, can you just maybe give us one or two more examples? I mean, are you talking Vietnam? Are you talking, uh, you know, Singapore? Where, where exactly in Southeast Asia? I mean, look, we're focused on Hong Kong. That's why we're, that's why we're here. That's why we're talking. That's why I write a letter about Hong Kong. Uh, it, if you look at Hong Kong as the most it's the most levered financial system in Southeast Asia. It has a uh, private sector credit of GDP of 300 percent, where the U.S. and Japan are about 150. It has banking system assets almost 10 times GDP. Sure. You remember in the Asian financial crisis, or sorry, in the European financial crisis, we had we had Greece. Uh, so well, we had Ireland, Iceland, Cyprus, and then Greece. Uh, the reason those systems had so much trouble is they allowed their banking systems to be many times their GDP. So Hong Kong is at this point where they have the most expensive real estate in the world, they have the most leverage of any developed economy in the world, and they're running out of, of dollars. And so it's a real problem. If you were an investor in Hong Kong and converting to the U.S. dollar was free, and if you also earn another 80 basis points by converting the U.S. dollars, you'd be a fool not to do it.